Hello, I'm Alison Westwood of Eclipse Gift Wrapping and this afternoon I'm going to be showing you how to wrap a cylindrical object and how to decorate it with a flower, a paper flower. Uh, what's inspired me is Mother's Day. So, lots of people ask me how to wrap a cylinder. This is a candle. The thing you need to remember is to take enough paper to go around the object, the little over, and then at the end of your cylinder you need just enough paper to go halfway up or slightly over your cylinder. So I'm going to fold down this edge and put some double sided tape along there. This is special double sided tape that I use called finger lift tape. It's really easy to use because you can peel the backing off very, very easily. And you can buy that from my website, which is www.eclipsegiftwrapping.co.uk. Pull the two sides of the paper together to make a nice, neat seam down the centre. And then, at the bottom of the object, just tuck the paper under so that you can concentrate, first of all, on the top. Take the inner layer of paper and holding it in the centre with one hand, pull the next little piece of paper into the centre and keep going in the same way so that each time you're just lifting up the paper and pleating it in towards the centre of your cylinder. You can use your finger to just space the pleats nice and evenly as you go round and just keep on going always pulling the paper to the centre. When you come towards the end, the last pleat, bring that one in and if you've got any little bits showing there, just clip them off with your scissors, like so. You then just need to turn over the end of the paper and take a little piece of double-sided tape and just pop it underneath there to hold the whole thing down. Then you can turn your attention back to the other end. This is all going to be pleated, so the fact you've just folded it under and it's the bottom of the object anyway won't really matter. Again, start off by bringing the first piece into the middle and then continue to pleat around in the same way. Each time pulling the paper towards the centre of your cylinder. And this works whether it's um, a candle such as this, or maybe a tin of biscuits or a tube of sweets or any form of cylinder that you might be wrapping. You just pleat that paper in to the centre every time. Any little bits that are poking over, clip off, take a piece of double sided tape, fold the end under and then pop your tape underneath just to hold it in place, like so. There we are, now I'm going to turn it the right way up and leave it to one side for a moment. And now I'm going to show you how to make a flower to decorate it. And I thought I'd do this since yesterday was Mother's Day. And it's quite nice sometimes to involve children in wrapping presents. And this is a really pretty flower that they can get involved in making. It's quite simple. You just need several layers of paper to make the flower. Um, I think I've got one, two, three, four, five here and then a button in the middle. So... To make one of the flower layers, all you need is a square of paper. So you can use oddments of paper, you can use just ordinary coloured paper for this, any paper you have. This is quite a thick paper, which is probably the most difficult sort of paper to use. Um, so if you can do it with this, you can do it with anything. You need to fold it in half so it forms a triangle. A square to begin with, fold in half to form a triangle. Then fold in half again and in half again. So that's three times you fold it in half. And then it should look like that with the raw edges that side, 
a few folds that side and just one single fold along that side. The one single fold you take across like that to fold it into that shape. Now your larger layers underneath the bottom layers of your flower, in this case this one, need to be larger than the middle layer. So in order to make them larger and smaller, at this point you measure along the side, this side first, of the paper. I'm going to measure three and a half inches. This would probably be enough to be your bottom layer of the flower. On the other side, I'm also going to measure three and a half inches and make a little mark on that as well. I'm then going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut between those two pencil marks. Now as you can see, this is quite thick paper. This paper is made from cotton and so it's quite a strong pair of scissors you need. With a thinner paper, um, it, it's much easier to cut. Your next stage is to place your finger, once you've opened it out and you've got a crease down the middle there, place your finger at the bottom, put a little dot there and then draw the shape that you want of your petals from that dot up to the two margins there. So you have something that looks roughly like that. And then again, taking your scissors, cut from the point just inside your pencil mark if you can, down to the dot and on the other side similarly from the point and cut down to the dot. Throw away the bits you've cut away and then open out the flower and it will look like that. So now you need to make it flower shaped. Flowers tend to be cupped so just bend the petals at the base in towards the middle. Go all the way around until all of them have been bent inwards and then with the petals they all need to be bent along their length again upwards towards the centre of the flower. So I'm just going to do that with all of these petals and that helps to shape the flower. And as you layer it up it looks more and more like a flower as all the layers tend to form that nice cup shape. There we are. So that's the layer and you would add to this other layers and glue them in the centre or use double sided tape to fix them in the centre so that the petals alternate between each other. And in that way you build up the layers until you have your flower. So now all that I need to do, having finished that flower off with a button in the centre, I'm going to pop some double sided tape onto my candle here. It's always a good idea to stick sticky to sticky if you're sticking an embellishment onto something. Um, if you just put tape on either the, the flower or bow, if you're using a bow, or just on the gift, then it won't tend to be a very secure stick. But if you put adhesive on both the embellishment and the gift, it'll stick very firmly. And there we are. I'll just flex my flower up a little bit, make sure that it's nice and curved, and then stick it on the top of my candle. And there we are. We're finished. And thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to just check out my website at www.eclipsegiftwrapping.co.uk. Thanks very much.